On the previous session, Pop lost a life to a baby zombie riding a chicken. So I gave him one of my lives so he didn't have to worry about being on red. I had a brief idea of what I was supposed to do for this session. I think my main goal was sort of just to get like lo as much iron, lapis lazuli, diamonds as I can. So I could try and get some enchantments because the boogeyman was starting this session and I didn't want to be unprepared for when the boogeyman gets picked. So uh, that was my main goal. After exploring the ravine a little bit, I found the old strip mine that led to the cave that me and Pop explored last week. Um, I kind of didn't know where to start because I was pretty nervous because last week it didn't go so very well in the strip mine because Pop died and all that. So I was just trying to hoping that there were just some diamonds we missed or something, um, or at least some iron. What I completely forgot about this version though, is how many mobs there are, like there are tons of mobs, like three skeletons and two zombies all in one place. I did however find some lapis lazuli, so that was pretty good, so I just went and quickly mined that while trying to fend off other monsters. I was just minding my own business mining some iron when I got jumped on by a gang of three zombies. The only problem is I think the one thing that's going to get me killed is lag because for some reason zombies can hit through my shield while I'm playing and I can I have to like disable my shield to fight back. I found this really really cool cave though with like an absolute ton of lava so I decided to explore that while trying not to die to a creeper. Unsurprisingly I found a small vein of iron which is really really good. I smelted the iron I collected so I could make an iron pickaxe because Without a doubt, the most annoying thing in Minecraft is when you finally find a vein of diamonds, only to not have an iron pickaxe to mine it. It's heartbreaking. I also met up with Pop at possibly the best time possible, as he warned me that there was a creeper right behind me and I didn't have my shield up. So that was pretty lucky. Um, the next part's going to be sped up, because it was just me going through a cave randomly, so... It was quite boring, so I guess just enjoy this small time lapse of me aimlessly running for a cave. Come on, you go and lose the life right after I get it. I dig myself a little hole in the wall of the cave so I can smell all the iron I obtained, so I can make the um, remaining pieces of iron armour that I need to complete the full set. After all of that I decide it's probably best if I leave the cave because I don't want to die down here. So I just dig straight up and end up digging into a desert which I then find out is Zapdan's desert. Where I find this out is because I see smoke in the distance and it turns out he has a campfire on his base. I go in and there really isn't that much there, there's no loot to steal or anything so I kind of just leave without really doing anything, anything else. On the previous session, I remember to take a mental note that Red and Orange Bros stole the enchantment table because if I'm picked to be the boogeyman, then going after them is probably my best shot because I really need enchantments in the early game because of one creeper explosion and it's ripped for me. I end up in the village that I found in the beginning of uh, the first episode and I see Red and Orange Bros name tag um, through the floor um, but I think he's mining, so I don't think anything of it. And Zapdan gets diamond armor, which it turns out to be diamond boots, so that was pretty lucky. I almost couldn't upload this video because basically nothing happened for like 40 minutes, and I was gonna merge it with episode 3. Martin got the command for the boogeyman a tiny bit wrong and ended up selecting it to be picked every 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes, but. Um, luckily the Boogerman was going to be picked in 5 minutes, so that was good.
I wasn't picked to be the boogeyman, which was not the best in the world because I was right in front of Red and I wanted to kill him to get that enchantment table now. But on the bright side, Pop was picked to be the boogeyman, so we kind of had a plan that he was going to try and meet up and kill Red in the village. It took every fibre of my being to try and keep Red in the village. The amount of stalling I did is just beyond your wildest imagination. Well, anyway, um, finally Pop arrives and kind of gets um, Red stuck in a house. He sort of gets a tiny bit stuck in the doorway. I don't exactly know what happened there. But after all of that hassle, he finally manages to kill Red and gets the first ever boogeyman kill of the um, series. So that was definitely a win for him. Me and Pop completely forgot that the entire point of killing Red was to steal the enchantment table back from him. And we realised that Red probably stole it again from where he died. Um, but it was at that moment where Martin arrived at the village. So we kind of met up with him and talked a bit and just messed about for a while. Because we thought he had already, Red had already picked up the enchantment table. Then Red made the mistake of opening up where his base was underneath the farm. Where I thought he was mining was actually his base that he'd built like a wall to stop people from getting in. Um, and I opened the chest to spot the enchantment table and just beeline out of there like I'm out. I do not want Red catching up with me and trying to get his enchantment table back so we just flee. While I was trying to stall Red, Pop was building a base on the side of a cliff 400 blocks away. So he kind of just like, he leads me to the base after we, we flee from Red. Unfortunately, Martin followed us the entire way. So um, we kind of just kind of take him in under our wing and let him use our enchantment table because we're nice people. Turns out none of that mattered anyway, because while I was getting Red Dive to dye our beds, he steals the enchantment table, so I guess I know we're going after next session. I'm very sorry to tell you this, but there will not be a session next week because of IRL kind of stuff. So there'll be um, a Last Life episode the week after, so sorry if you're excited for the next session, but it's not happening until two weeks.